Wagyu Street Tacos for under $20. What's going on guys? My name is Andrew, also known as the Grill Sergeant. And today I'm gonna show you how we can just take all these ingredients and we are gonna fire up the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle and make some awesome carne asada street tacos. I mean, who doesn't like a street taco? I'm sure you do. So enough flapping my gums, let me show you the ingredients. So to make carne asada street tacos, you're gonna pretty much start with the beef here. Usually you can use sliced ground chuck. These ones that I found, these Wagyu strips, were pretty much already made into strips, so then all I have to do is actually just cube this up and this is ready to go. You're gonna need a lemon for a seasoning, Pit Boss's GSP, which is garlic, salt, and pepper. That is pretty much all you're gonna need for seasoning. We then have our butter tortillas. These ones are from HEB. These ones are absolutely killer. And then we have what it takes to doll up the taco. You know, you have your chopped onion, you have your salsa, and then you have your chopped up cilantro. All right, let's cube up the beef. Let's get this out. All right, let's throw that away. I'm get a paper napkin. All right, I'm just going to pat this meat down and now we're literally just going to start cubing this up and the more fat you have in here that is just going to help add for the flavor all right so once you have your meat all cubed up you're going to get a glass bowl a lemon and then your seasoning so now i'm going to take the meat put this into the glass bowl this is where we're going to add the Pit Boss GSP. Just want to make sure you get that all over the meat. Probably two to three tablespoons worth. Now I'm going to take my lemon, slice that in half. And I'm using a strainer. This is going to help catch the seeds. Okay. Tossing all that so that lemon juice can kind of coat everything. And so now I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator probably for an hour or two. What you can do is say if you want to make this for dinner, you can do this prep work around lunchtime. And then for dinner, it's going to be marinated and seasoned up ready to go. So we'll tune back in a little bit and we'll fire up the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. All right, our steak has been marinating now for about two hours. So now let's fire up the griddle. So for this cook, we're going to turn these three burners on high, and then we're going to turn these two outside burners on low. And that's going to either be to take the meat when it's done cooking to keep it warm or to heat up some of the tortillas. So now I'm going to turn these middle burners on high, and we'll turn these outside ones all the way to low. Let's fire up. All right, let's go get our meat. All right, the griddle is fired up. Let's get this on. So you're just going to want to spread all this out. You want to make sure all the meat is touching the griddle, but you also want all the meat to kind of stay within itself. You don't want it too spread out. So all this juice, you can basically kind of bring it back in on itself. And when you keep all the meat together, it kind of traps all that juice in the center. Ooh, there we go. Now we're starting to see that char starting to come through. Let's give off this off to one side. All right, I'm going to take these middle burners. I'm going to turn them low as well. While the grill's hot, I'm going to basically scrape off this stuff. Put that in the dump. Let's get these things heated up. Already I can smell the butter. Ooh, oh, that smells good. Ooh, look at that. Rising up on us. Ooh -wee. All right, let's make some tacos. My favorite part, building the taco. Gotta get our meat up in here. 
We're going to come in here, get our salsa on, some onion, some cilantro. Who's hungry? I know I am. Oh my gosh, we're just dripping everywhere. Without further ado, let me get in here. I got to say, these were so easy to prepare, fun to cook, and the taste is amazing. In the description of this video, you're going to find the recipe on how to copy this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned and subscribe to Pit Boss's YouTube channel. Stay on top of all the Backyard Bosses episodes. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Girls Sergeant out. My kids right now are looking through the window drooling right now. Mm. And bring it in and feed the family.